lot of a lot of crap I'm moving around here. So this is my next update. I don't have a lot of an update. Why I haven't been too busy this entire week. One is work, workload at work, workload at work. Uh, definitely a little tired when I get home, so I don't really want to do anything except for relax. The other thing is the wife and I just celebrated our 15th year anniversary. Can you believe that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we've been married for 15 years now. I know, I know, how can she put up with me for that long? But you know what? She does a great job, and I love her for that. So, yeah, 15 years, that was uh, another milestone. So, there you go. 15 years, been married, if you didn't know that. So, I haven't been down here to really do anything whatsoever. I haven't even started the Batrium stuff yet. I know, I know, I know. I was so excited to get it and couldn't wait to get it installed and here it is like a week and a half later and I haven't even started yet. That's okay. I hope to do it this week. Alright, so since I haven't done anything all week on Friday before work, I went to go to my recyclers and this is what I came home with. Let me show you what I got. On the top here. I have two smart SC450s. I don't know what the SC means, but I got these two UPSs so I can do some practicing of the circuitry inside that Neuralnar did. He did that whole thing where he was able to series two of them together, and I want to attempt that with these. That way, if I let the magic smoke out, it's okay. And if I am successful with doing the series of the 220 volt well if if I am successful at making one a slave I am going to plug the slave into this one to see if I can get them to parallel so then I would have what a 900 VA between the both of them instead of a 450 at 220 so that is a planned video with these two and I told my recycler that I would most likely blow these up and I'll bring them back shortly Okay, let me get these out of the way. The next gem that I have on the list is another smart UPS. This one is an RT1500. And what I have planned for this one is... Alright, so I did a little video on that grid tie inverter. And at the very end, I wanted to find out if I could plug the grid tie inverter into a UPS to find out if... If something like that does work so that is the plan with this UPS is I'm gonna plug it in and see if I can get it to work see if they will talk to each other so that is this one coming up here hopefully shortly you know life happens so you can't always get to stuff as fast as you want but that is the plan for this one it is a 1500 I'd imagine it's a 24 volt version but I really don't know cuz I haven't looked into it. All right, next on the list, which I did post a picture on Second Life, and I got five boxes of these medical batteries, and they are Welch Allen and 11.1 volts, 6,000 milliamps with 66 watt hours. Of course, for this date, I have no idea if that's when they were installed or removed. Every single one of them says bad on it. Whether that's true or not, I will find out. All right, so I got five boxes of these and there's 22 in each box. So what is that, like 110 or something like that? So there's a box. There's a box, there's a box, and then there's one more box right back here. And then I got another box of these guys. It only had one of these Phillips packs in here, which these have the LG cells in them, which that one's only 25%. These have the LG cells in them, and every single cell that I've gotten out of these have been over 2100 milliamps, so these are awesome. The rest of the box are these. I think I have had like one or two of these in the past and that one's full charge, so awesome. These are really, really good as well. I did just open one of these right before the video and they are these purple cells. They say moly on them, M-O-L-I. 
ICR 18650J and according to the cell database on DIYpowerwalls.com uh, these are these hopefully will be really good I, I'm actually leaning on these quite a bit because I need some cells that I, I just need some good cells basically for my next 10 kilowatt pack so I'm really hoping that these turn out really really good and then there was also one of these guys it is a little power bank and I was like freaking sweet man because of course I don't have one of these except for like the little single guy you know that you pick up for like two bucks when you're at the checkout aisle and they always suck so I was like awesome I have a real power bank now kind of and I figured since it was dead maybe you know the 18650s were bad well I kind of cracked it open a little bit and guess what it's got those freaking lipos so yeah i might have to mod that a little bit to use 18650s if i can i might try to charge it up first and see what it does but we'll see we'll see and there was another laptop battery pack oh well, let me grab them one of these guys in there this is a lenovo and it's bad hopefully it's not so i got one of those guys and then these other i'm not sure but i'm guessing there's three cells in there I just hope they're not too much of a pain in the ass to get open. Let's see, they say 10.8 volts, 2200 milliamp hours, and 23.76 watt hours. I've opened something similar to this in the past, and it had the Samsung pink cells in it, and those did turn out to be, oh, at least 2200 milliamps, if I remember right. So I'm really hoping that these are in good shape. All right, so literally, like I was saying, I just opened up one of those molecule packs or molly cell, molly cell packs. I just put those purple cells in the Fox Novo maybe like five minutes ago, and they are full charged to a point. They're about 4.1 to 4.14. So hopefully they will start discharging here rather quickly. I won't find out, of course, until tomorrow morning. Oh, goody. Peter just put out a 10 pack challenge just for fun video this time. Wasn't it for fun last time too? <sighs> All right, well, I guess I guess I need to I guess I need to do that. Oh, this well, both of these. All right, so I was able to finish all of the um, pack swapping the fuses around and the negative on that positive end so there's no more breaky breaky of the fuses. After going through all packs, I found a total of three bad, well, bad fuses that were popped. I don't know, I don't know still the reason why. This one I charged and capacity checked four more times total. Okay, the very, very first time that I did the capacity check, whenever I did it a long time ago, it was 2133. The next four I did 24 hours after each other. Uh, so 2022, 1967, 1974, and then 1954. And then it's been sitting for the past, I don't know, a week. So I'm gonna check the voltage on it and see if it's gone down at all. And no, I haven't checked it yet. It's been sitting right there the whole time. So I'm gonna see if I can do this on camera. If I had just another hand. Oh. See, if I had another hand. Let me try this again. It's 4.08, so it is, it is dropping. So I would say it's probably a bad sell. These other two, the other two, well, I didn't write it on this one, but I wrote fuse popped on there so I wouldn't get it mixed up. I'm gonna write it on this next one so I don't get it mixed up. So these other two cells, I'm gonna just assume that they are pretty much the same. I have not charged these yet because I wanna do some demonstrations with the, if your fuse pops and you have an LED on there and the LED will light up, I wanna use these as my bad cells and use that in like a pack of like five or ten. I'll use this as an example and we'll see we'll see if it works. And one thing I need to do with that is I need to do like an example on my fuse tester thingy where I'm gonna test the fuse and the LED together to see if it if it pops if the fuse will pop higher or if it's gonna stay the same because I really don't know. 
I would imagine it would be higher, but I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it'll stay the same? Like if I use one of my uh, glass fuses that pop at two amps, we'll say, we'll do a control of like two amps and then I'll add an LED to it and we'll see if it's the same. And if it is the same, then great. If it's just a little bit higher, I'm fine with that. If it's a whole amp higher, like three amps versus two, I would be okay with that as long as the LED lit up. I think I'd be cool with that. But if it's a huge, huge amount, I'm not personally comfortable with that, only because I want the, the dead cell or low cell to pop the fuse really fast. And that's the only reason I went with the really, really low amp fuse. So they'll pop sooner versus something that's gonna pull like 10 amps. Cause I don't want a 10 amp draw on my battery pack when it could have just taken two. So that's another reason why I use those tiny glass fuses and I use the low amperage ones. All right, so I have a whole bunch of videos I need to do. So let's see, I got, oh man, I got a whole bunch. I have the Batrium video. There's probably going to be a couple in there, but we'll just count it as one for right now. The Neural NAR video where I can find out if, you know, series, seriesing, series, series, seriesing two UPSs together to get 220 volts. And if it does work, I'm gonna plug the other one into the other one, not series, but parallel, and see if I can get more more wattage out of it. Three, I need to hook up a grid tie inverter to the other UPS and see if it will let the magic smoke out or not. Four, four, four. I think there was a fourth, but I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, I was gonna do the how long does it take to open up 10 battery packs? <sighs> I guess the good thing is, is now I've got, I've got more than 10 I can take apart, but I'll only do 10. So now I guess I have to take apart 10 battery packs. I guess my real goal here is to beat Peter's time. Why not? I mean, that's the real goal. I'll, I mean, I don't have any laptop battery packs. Hopefully that doesn't disqualify me. And what if I use fancy camera angles? Can I do that? Probably not. All right, so that was the fourth video. All right, so I am going to... I, I've got a whole bunch of videos coming out. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button and, and the notification bell right up there. Make sure you hit that too. Because that'll let you know whenever I upload my next video. Only if you're interested. You don't have to hit it, but I would prefer if you did. Oh, 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 total batteries that I got for free. These were all for free. All of this was for free. I forgot to mention that. I know, I know. And I got it from my recycler, just like in the video that I made, how I get my battery packs. At the very beginning, you're calling everybody and going everywhere and you're not getting much luck. But if you are persistent and you come back, especially to the people that do sell you some, like my guy, I went back like every week and we became pretty good friends and now he just gives me all kinds of crap for free. So if you did not read the description box down below any of these videos, there is other information down there usually as well that I don't always put in the video. Sometimes if you have questions, your answer is one click away right there. You can ask the questions because I don't mind. I try to respond to every single comment I can. And if for some reason it doesn't get responded to, YouTube probably didn't let me know about it. Just saying. Okay, so yeah, total battery packs. I believe it was 152-ish or three maybe, and three UPSs. I'd also like to say if you would like to support me and any of my efforts, I have a couple links down below. One is PayPal for a direct donation, or you can go over to Patreon. I have a whole bunch of different options to, to support me if somebody wanted to do that. And if you don't want to do any of those things, you could also use an affiliate link. You don't technically buy it from me or anything like that. But if you click on Amazon and buy something, I get just a little tiny percent of that and everything helps. Same with one of the eBay links. If you do buy something, I do get just the little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. So click on a link down below and buy something if you don't want to donate. Okay, that's all I got. All right, so I will see you guys on the next one. Um, and the planned, all right, so I did a little video for the bang, banquet, banquet, uh, and, and, and similar to this in the
Uh, um, and and I, and I don't want to tamp at the two peats and kind of do it still. Sometimes I forget to work on this. The you don't have to. You can you can and.